Hello, my dear friends, I am David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the uniform circular motion. So, let's start. The uniform circular motion is a type of motion in which an object travels in a circular path, circular path, at a constant speed, constant speed. This means that the object's distance from the center of the circle remains constant, but its direction is constantly changing. Its direction is constantly changing. The object's velocity, which is a vector quantity that includes both magnitude, speed and direction, is also constantly changing. So, the velocity is a vector quantity. The magnitude is the speed and also there is the direction that constantly changing. Key characteristics of uniform circular motion. The constant speed, the object speed remains constant throughout its circular path. The changing direction, the object's direction is constantly changing due to its circular motion. The centripetal acceleration, the object experiences a centripetal acceleration which is directed towards the center of the circle. This acceleration is responsible for the constant change in direction. Centripetal force. The centripetal force is the force that provides the centripetal acceleration. This force must be acting inwards towards the center of the circle. So the key characteristics of uniform circular motion are the constant speed, the changing direction, the centripetal acceleration, and the centripetal force. Examples of uniform circular motion are a car turning a corner at a constant speed, a satellite orbiting the Earth at a constant speed, a ball tied to a string and swung in a circle, the ends of a clock moving around the clock phase. So, let's do together an exercise. A car is moving in a circular path with a radius of 20 meters at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. Calculate the car's angular velocity, the car's centripetal acceleration, the centripetal force acting on the car, assuming its mass is 1000 kg. So, this is the solution. The angular velocity omega is equal to v over r, that is 10 meters per second over 20 meters that is equal to 0 0.5 radians per second. So the centripetal acceleration A is equal to V squared over R, that is 10 meters per second squared over 20 meters, so it is 5 meters per second squared. And the centripetal force is F, that is equal to M times A, that is 1000 kilograms times 5 meter per second square, that is 5000 newton. So for now is everything, thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!